Hello and welcome to my channel, Autumn and the Mage. I'm sorry, my kid just like screamed right when I started the video, of course. But anyway, uh, thank you for joining me here. Thank you for tuning in to this video. It will be a general reading, a general love message for Sagittarius. It might not resonate, and if it does not, please do not try to fit, make it fit. Uh, if it does resonate, then it is your story. If not, I'm sorry that I didn't have a message for you, but thank you so much for checking. I do appreciate it. I'm going to start first by drawing a card for your energy towards this situation, this connection, and a card for their energy, both from the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. I'm going to read from the book on both of those, so I appreciate your patience with me on that. And then we'll draw a tarot for how you feel about this person, how they feel about you. We'll clarify all of that and then draw a most likely outcome and then an oracle card for advice. Ooh, what a mouthful. So let's start with you, Sagittarius. Uh, please give us a card for the energy that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection. Can I get a card for Sagittarius, please? Okay, please. Okay. I get the horse. The horse. It's a pretty card. Not really familiar with it, though, so I'll be interested to read <laughs> what it means. Can we get a card for the person connecting to Sagittarius here? Can we get a card for the person connecting to Sagittarius? What energy are they bringing into this connection? The person connecting to Sagittarius, please. The zebra. <laughs> That's interesting. So the, um, the zebra is fire energy there, and the horse is earth energy. I don't know why, but with the horse, I think of wild and free, but also you're Sagittarius, and I feel like Sagittarius, you have a very, um, uh, what's the word, independent nature. You're really very independent sign, and so, I don't know, I think of the, the horses that you know, like the stallion running free, right? But I could be so wrong. So let's let's read it instead of making assumptions. Good idea. Horse. Momentum, freedom, expansive energy, and force. <laughs> Excuse me. The horse represents the most masterful form of earth energy within the deck. It provides us with a momentum so reliable, so supportive, that you can ride on its back toward any goal, no matter how difficult the terrain. A horse personality is fully awakened, fully alive, and cannot be defeated. The horse's freedom becomes available to us when we hone and collect our energy through daily practice, physical stamina, exercise, and mental focus. Meditation are the secret weapons behind the horse's legacy. So it is about having that free energy, but also providing stability and support and being reliable. That's an interesting way to look at the horse. Uh, I've, I've never thought of it quite that way, but that makes sense. So you're really, um, yeah, coming forward with support and stability and oddly still in, in that position feeling freedom. That's really interesting. I keep saying that. I'm sorry. I say it all the time. It's like my favorite thing to say. That's interesting. But so many things are, right? And so it's tough. Zebra, eccentric, creative, visionary. Zebras are the most precious of gems. They are young at heart, well-cultured, and have an undying curiosity about life. Being in the company of a zebra personality not only is a delight, but also opens our minds. Be prepared. Their potent magic is contagious, and you may soon find yourself in a faraway land, expanding your worldview while having a blast. Zebras also like to contribute to the global health through environmental or volunteer work. This card may be a hint to pack your bags. Well, that's great. They are a joy to be around and inspirational and contagious. That that energy, their energy is contagious. That's Young at heart sounds fantastic. 
you were both bringing in great energy. Let's take a look at how you feel, <laughs> excuse me, about them and how they feel about you. I am using the Wild Unknown Tarot for this portion of the reading. Can I please get three cards for how Sagittarius feels about the person they are connecting with? Three cards for how Sagittarius feels about this person. Can I please get two more cards for how Sagittarius feels about this person they're connecting with? One more. Okay, so, well, so far we get the Seven of Cups, which I heard described today as being in fantasy land, like really fantasizing about somebody, which maybe is the case here. I don't know. We'll clarify it. <laughs> but, uh, or daydreaming about them a lot, okay? But the Seven of Cups often, because the I, I believe that the reason for that is because the Seven of Cups is usually like up in the clouds, you know? And anyway, I'm going to clarify it, but also the Seven of Cups can be confusion, okay? Also with that being in the clouds, like all those choices up there and not seeing clarity and not knowing which one to choose, okay? But it can also be just about feeling like you have choices, feeling like you have options, all right? Um, the next card we get is the moon, and that can be fears, or it can be something that we're hiding, all right? We'll definitely clarify that further. Can I get one more card <laughs> for how Sagittarius feels about the person they're connecting with? One more card, please. How does Sagittarius feel about this person? How does Sagittarius feel? Okay. We get the Eight of Pentacles. Well, that's three cards there. That's fine. Okay, Sagittarius. We'll give you all the cards. <laughs> okay. The Eight of Pentacles is dedication, and it's wanting to work at something to really perfect it. The spider works really hard at this web, and it's so perfect when they're done, okay? And that's what that is about, perfecting something, all right? Then we get the Daughter of Wands, which is the Page of Wands, and that's feeling, in, it's feeling inspired and excited about something, okay? And the Two of Cups, which is uh, love, and it's a soulmate connection. It's feeling that soulmate connection with somebody, right? <laughs> and really feeling uh, very strongly, Towards somebody but it's love the two of cups that's what that is whenever I get the two of cups I feel like I don't know what to say about it do you know what I mean because I mean it's the two of cups your cup and their cup and I mean it's you're both offering it to each other it's it's love right straight up love anyway let's take a look at their side how does this person feel about Sagittarius please how does this person feel about Sagittarius? Okay, okay. So we get the devil, all right, which is the devil are things, the devil represents things that we allow to control us, okay? So it's obsession, it's addiction, okay? Sometimes it's a card about sex, but it's things that we uh, allow to control us, so, all right? And then the star, which is a card about healing and also about a wish, okay? We make, <coughs> excuse me, we make wishes on a star. And those are those those huge wishes that we think just are impossible to come true, okay? And that's what the star is about, that, that fantastic wish. And so 
it can be feeling like you are a wish come true, okay? And then the Three of Cups, that's wanting to come together and spend time together and be happy and have fun, okay? It can, it's also a card of reconciliation, so this might be a person from your past, but the Three of Cups, it's really just spending time with someone, you know, just really being with them and enjoying them, okay? So that's the Three of Cups. That's great. <coughs> I'm not sure about that devil energy, but it could be they're just obsessed with you, Sagittarius. I mean, can you blame them? <laughs> okay, let's take a look at your Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups for Sagittarius? Please clarify the Seven of Cups. Okay, we get oh, the Magician, which is Gemini and Leo. I'm sorry, Gemini and Virgo energy here. So you might be dealing with Gemini or Virgo. But the Magician is manifesting something, okay? And then the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is somebody who's just very attractive. <laughs> it doesn't have to be male. I mean, it doesn't have to be female. It can be male. Okay, but this is someone who's very attractive and... It's also fire energy, so you might be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or, or Sagittarius. That's you. I don't think this is you manifesting yourself, okay? With the Seven of Cups, hmm, it might be just that you're, that you're dealing with another fire energy, or it, it could be wanting to manifest this person in your life, wanting to manifest um, coming together with them, but not knowing how, or, I mean, there's a small, there's this, there's the possibility that this is you wanting to be the queen of wands, wanting to be this attractive and alluring person. Like maybe you feel like you need to step into this. You're already this Sagittarius. You don't need to manifest it. Okay. This is you. You don't have to do it. All right. But the seven of cups is feeling confusion about it, or you're fantasizing about I'm sorry, today I just keep seeing all these possibilities with the cards. It's insane, but maybe you're fantasizing about and trying to manifest them in your life. Like, And with wands, I would say that that's possibly a physical thing, but that's what I see there. So let's take a look at the moon. Please clarify the moon. For how Sagittarius feels about this person. Please clarify the moon. Okay. Come on, cards. Please clarify the moon for how Sagittarius feels about this person. All right then, so with the moon, uh, it can be a card about fears, okay, or it can be a card about things that are hidden. <coughs> it can also be the, it can also be about dreams. Speaking with that seven of cups there as well, I mean, we could be talking about dream, daydreaming some more here, but it, with the moon, in the moon card, we are, this is, the, we, we get the page of cups to clarify it, but with the moon card in traditional tarot, we are trying to stay in the light of the moon, okay? We're trying to stay inside that light. And when we look out to either side, there are things that aren't clear. And sometimes it's about being afraid of those things, okay? Because you look over and you don't know what it is and you're worried about it. Or sometimes it's um, hiding within those things, hiding within those shadows. So it's possible that you are, you're feeling like, you, with the page of cups here, this is wanting to open your heart to somebody, okay? You really, you want to do it. <laughs> and you're, you're, um, you're curious about them and you, you want to, you want to open your heart to them, but it's a very small gesture. It's just, it, it's, 
the pages are like the smallest. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not describing this. I'm just not doing a very good job about this. I'm sorry, Sagittarius, but maybe hopefully you get what I'm saying. With the Page of Cups, it's just a small gesture, okay? It's just taking steps towards, I want to open my heart towards you, or I'm opening my heart towards you, and here's this small gesture, this this compliment or this you know, something to show you that I am interested, okay? And <laughs> either you're trying to hide um, that this is this is what you're feeling, this, this small-ish amount, okay? Or uh, you're afraid of coming forward with it. Like you want to come forward with it, but you're afraid that, that maybe they're going to possibly reject whatever it is that you're offering them. Maybe not reject you exactly, but reject whatever small thing that you're uh, giving them, okay? Let's take a look at the Eight of Pentacles, which can be a, jo a job-related card. It could mean that you're focusing on work at this time, but um, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, see, I don't think that's what it is. With the Eight of Pentacles, that's wanting to... Sorry, if you can hear my kids. <laughs> quite large. I'm, he's quite loud. He's not quite large. He's quite loud. He's, he's just a little dude for real. Not that it matters, but we got a lot of cards here. Okay, Sagittarius, we get the Knight of Pentacles. <coughs> and with the Eight of Pentacles, that's dedication, right? And willing to take the time to perfect it. And with the Knight of Pentacles, that's what he's doing. He has this offer and it's a firm offer. It's committed and stable. It's really, uh, an offer to start building that that foundation together, that strong foundation that's going to grow into a wonderful palace, okay? Uh, but coming really slowly because he it's such a massive offer and so um, um, supportive, okay? He, he really wants to take his time getting there. He wants to make sure he's doing it right. He wants to follow the steps. So he's kind of slow. The Hierophant, that is <laughs> that can be a marriage card, so we could be talking about marriage here. Uh, but with the her the Hierophant, we're taking a step up in in a situation. In the in the Hierophant, Hierophant, you're moving upward, either like spiritual understanding or in a relationship, moving to the next step. Something is moving forward, so you're really taking your time moving forward. All right, and the Hangman is is another it's another timing card in this card he's not he's not moving forward he's planning okay he's got all this a activation of his mind is what came to mind right there i don't know but like his mind is really working to um working out whatever he's focused on but he's physically not moving it's just another things are going to take time i'm going to move slowly kind of card see and there's that <laughs> there's that page it's like this is what i'm doing okay towards this i want to move towards this direction but i'm stuck and i'm coming at this as a page like this page here is a very it's a small gesture okay towards this ten of cups and this ten of pentacles this is it i mean this is it this is it this is emotional fulfillment and completion of like this is having everything that you want in your life having you know the family you want and the house you want and the car you want and the job you want and the I mean this is it this is perfection okay and this is loving every minute of it loving every part of it okay this is having it all and this is loving it all and it being with that person and having that that commitment towards each other and that uh, fulfillment. So I really feel like <laughs> you're you're working really hard, okay, and you're going to take your time to get to this, to this step up, okay. You're starting here with this hangman who's almost not moving, with this tiny gesture, okay. But you really are still on this path. This is what you want to work towards. You want this emotional fulfillment. You want this perfect life. Sorry if that sounded that sounded snarky or something. Anyway, let's go to the Father of Wands, which is the King of Wands, which is also your energy. 
am I doing here? Okay. That's you, right? Oh, I didn't even see that. So we have the father and the queen and the king of wands that speaks of a very, it's a very strong connection, okay, as well as with this two of cups. Those both talk about a really strong connection uh, and feeling like you're on the same wavelength. Interesting. Just thought of, like, if you are the king of Pent um, the, the king of wands this would be like manifesting your your queen of wands you know manifesting your other half your other part can i please clarify the king of wands sometimes i just feel like i talk forever i'm very sorry if i do but we get the ace of cups which is that offer right wanting to offer <laughs> um interesting we get the ace of cups the five of wands which is conflict okay um, outside of ourselves, generally, this is conflict with other people. It can be about jealousy. Like if you feel like a person has many options, um, this could be like wanting to, wanting to fight for them. Okay. Or fight for something because p wants are passions. It's something we feel very strongly about. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. The Wheel of Fortune, which is timing, okay? This is a card about destiny and about things coming about when they're meant to come about, okay? So it's wanting to offer this cup, but having possibly having conflict, feeling conflicted because of time, that could be a factor. You could feel like you really want to move forward, <laughs> but there's all of these obstacles that are slowing you down and it, making it seem as if now is not the moment. And the Six of Swords is, it's a travel card, so you may be at a distance to the person you're dealing with, but in the Six of Swords, it's moving into calm, okay, or a clarity. So, um, yeah, I feel like you want to offer this cup, but there's conflict about the timing and wanting to move forward, you wanting to move into peace and possibly <laughs> the peace that you want to find is acceptance with this timing, okay? Or um, it could be that you just want it to happen. You're, you're ready to make this offer and you just want to be um, there in it. Okay, let's clarify the Two of Cups. Please clarify the Two of Cups for how Sagittarius feels about the person they're connecting with. Please clarify the Two of Cups for how this person feels, how Sagittarius feels. Wow, that's too many. It's too many. Oh my gosh, but it's so many repeats. I just want to show you. <laughs> and we get the King of Wands again, the Eight of Pentacles again, the Moon again. That's crazy. Okay, we're going to we're going to ask for less cards. Okay just crazy but we ask them and look at what's at the bottom of the deck <laughs> the two of cups okay but it's too many cards it's just too many Sagittarius. break it down for me okay and less cards please please clarify the two of cups while i was shuffling what i was thinking is and this might not be you okay but what i was thinking is that maybe you're not sure about this person you're sure that you want this queen of wands. You're ready for it. You're ready for that partner. Okay. <laughs> and Whoa, sorry. You definitely want to get to this 10 of cups and this 10 of pentacles. I'm sorry. They were just literally right outside my door there just playing. But anyway, um, you definitely want this, this feeling of completion, like having it all. Okay. But you're really, I feel like you might be coming at this person more like as a page. And possibly that has to do with timing and you not being fully ready, okay? Because you're really coming at this person as a page, which is very um, smallish, okay? It's like, uh, but you feel a connection. I mean, with the Two of Cups, you do feel a connection with this person. I just feel like maybe you're not positive that they're your Queen of Cups. Or your king of cups or whatever you know your other half but i could be wrong 
Let's take a look here. Okay, so what we get with the Two of Cups is we get the Queen of Cups, all right, which is very uh, compassionate, loving energy, very sweet. Um, sorry. <laughs> My children keep opening the door and then leaving. I apologize. The Queen of Cups is just very loving and understanding and compassionate. Okay. And then the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> In the Seven of Pentacles, we've planted the seeds. All right. And we're just sitting there waiting for them to grow. Okay. So this means two things. One, that we're not moving. All right, because we're waiting and it too that maybe we feel like it's out of our control because in the seven of pentacles There's literally nothing we can do but watch them grow. Okay, and so we just have to sit there and wait and it's just feeling like it's out of our control Okay, but and that we're just waiting sometimes we're reflecting on the work we did and how proud we are and like <laughs> Hoping for what we think these pentacles will become Okay, but really, we're not doing anything. We're stuck, all right? And the Seven of Wands is feeling defensive. Um, I mean, you planted these seeds, okay? These wands really mean a lot to you, and you, you're going to defend them, okay? That's what the Seven of Wands is about, feeling kind of defensive. And then the Eight of Cups is walking away from things that no longer serve us towards something new, okay? And it's not necessarily walking away from someone or walking away from uh, like a relationship. These are just things about our life that we once really cared a lot for, okay? These are our cups. These are our cups. These are things that we, we loved, but they don't serve us anymore and we need to let them go. And perhaps something happened and now it's toxic, you know, but we have to walk away. And... I don't know if I've mentioned to this this to you before, Sagittarius, but in it, this spot right here is a ninth cup, and they've like taken that cup. There's a cup that usually that, that fits right there, you see, but they've taken that cup with them, and so it's really not a release of everything. It's just a release of those things that that <laughs> that can no longer help and can no longer work. All right, so I feel like I feel like you feel a connection with this person, but you definitely feel like things are currently out of your hands. And um, yeah, you're trying to walk away from something that is no longer working for you. I swear I need some kind of soundproofing or something. Sorry. Um, it can be feeling love, like feeling love and um, having planted the seeds, but feeling like it's out of your control and you've just got to wait and you're protective of that, protective of those seeds and going to hold on to them and walk away from things that don't serve you. This part of the message is not 100% clear to me, Sagittarius. Let me see. <laughs> because the Queen of Cups could be a person, not you. It could be somebody else that you've invested in and that you feel defensive of like that investment into them, but you're walking away from some aspect of that connection or some aspects of it. Uh, but I don't see why that's connected to this two of cups unless it's them. It may be that you uh, feel love towards this person and feel like you're out of you have to wait till the time is right and you feel defensive of it and you're trying to walk away from things that aren't working out trying to walk away from that possibly so you can move forward i mean i hope something here has resonated that i've said because it's not 100 percent clear to me like i said but that's what i'm seeing let's take a look at their side the devil which is Capricorn energy. So you might be dealing with Capricorn. I was looking here to see if I missed any cards here. I think the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. So you might be dealing with the Taurus. The Hangman, I consider Virgo energy. But I don't know if it is really. <laughs> Whenever I see a Hangman, though, I'm like, that's a Virgo. Okay. Let's clarify the Devil. Please clarify the devil for how this person feels about Sagittarius. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. We get the two of pentacles and the devil. Okay. 
in the two of pentacles it's a very it's a managing card okay these are things that we're trying to balance it's possible this person has um there's possibly some kind of toxic uh factor into this relationship okay something that's not exactly especially getting it twice you know I, I'm just going to say what I see because I see it, but this might be managing two people and this might be like some kind of sexual energy, right? And this is like managing those two people. It could be, uh, so I have to say it cause I see it, but, uh, it could be something else that's toxic. Okay. Or not toxic, but definitely not positive. Okay. The devil's not not positive energy, I'm sorry to say. It's, it can be obsession. It can be more than one obsession. Maybe they have two, obs they're, <laughs> they have many obsessions and they're trying to balance those obsessions and one of them is you, okay? That could be what that is. This is definitely a managing card, okay? And it's definitely physical things like things that we touch, things that we, uh, have in our lives, okay, which can be people, it can be, I mean, anything that you can touch, anything that's physical in this world, that's what this, these pentacles represent, okay, and then, like I said, the devil's obsession, so it's really trying to manage their obsessions, okay, I feel like you are one of them, I feel like they are obsessed with you, hmm, can we please get, can we please clarify the star? A star can also be a healing card. Can we please clarify the star? How this person feels about Sagittarius? Wow. That's a lot of cards. We'll go with it. We get the two of cups, which is that connection that you feel with them. That, that spiritual soulmate connection, okay? The Ten of Swords, which is pain. Um, I mean, that's what it is. It's pain. Uh, a lot of pain. The Five of Swords, okay, which is um, conflict, okay? But in the Five of Swords, it, it's a victory that feels like a defeat. It's something we've won and we're not sure... We've won it in such a way that it feels achy, okay? The Seven of Swords, which is deception. My goodness, this is just not looking good over here. I gotta say, the Seven of Swords is deception or being sneaky, okay? And the Lovers, dang, which is <clears throat> a soulmates, right? It can be soulmates. It can be that, you know, lover's energy. This is also Gemini. If you, so you might be dealing with the Gemini, but this is also choices in love. Okay. And, oh, it feels like they have choices in love and they're being sneaky about it. And they are not sure, like they're, they've caught some kind of pain or they're in some kind of pain and they, so they're not feel they're not sure if they've won. With the defeat, with this, I, I don't know why I keep calling it the defeat card. With the five of swords, it's victory, okay? But it just feels like defeat. It's it's just so icky. <laughs> and deception about a connection, about a choice in love. So the star, but the star can be healing. It can be healing. So it could be that they were hurt by a past connection or maybe hurt by you and um or maybe they hurt you i don't see that over here i don't see any kind of hurt over here i i see like maybe you're not exactly sure that this is your person but you really want a person you really think you're ready for a person and they seem like a, a choice you're willing to go towards okay you are that horse i mean you you're capable of carrying that you're capable of carrying them forward, okay? You have that, you've worked up that, what is the word I'm looking for here? 
ability, okay, that stability, that commitment, that's all there within you, and you're ready to give it to somebody, okay, but <laughs> this is, this really makes me uncomfortable, <laughs> this is like, this is like three of the worst cards, sandwiched in between two of the best cards, okay, <laughs> like, I'm just, and how is that connected to the star, <laughs> which is a hope, they could not possibly be wishing for this, unless they're wishing to hide something from you, about a connection and pain but these two are confusing okay right here it's pain <laughs> and feeling like you lost and hiding something and being sneaky about something okay but this is love and a, and a strong connection and so is this but this is also about choices Oh, goodness. I'm so sorry, Sagittarius. I hope that you know what this means. I hope you know what it means because I am honestly just stumped. And they're coming in with the zebra energy. I feel like I need to read that again. Let's take a look at the Three of Cups, which could be reconciliation. The Three of Cups, oh my gosh, could be third party situation that's with the Three Cups there. I don't know. Can I please get clarification on the Three of Cups or how this person feels about Sagittarius? Can I please get... Okay. Okay. Just chill it there for a second. Calm down and just... Okay, please have clarification on that Three of Cups. Okay. Um, we get the emperor, all right, uh, which is boss energy. <laughs> the emperor is somebody who they're in charge. They know, <laughs> they know what they want. And they know they can get it. Okay, it's very strong, confident, very powerful energy. The four of cups, which is oddly. A rejection of some kind. I mean, this person is rejecting this offer, or in some cases, it can be feeling bored or just or, uh, unhappy with something. Okay, because if you're if they're this person here, they're ignoring an offer because they're focused on this. Okay, um, or they have offered something and they're feeling reject. Like they're this person here, which would feel rejection because this person is turning them down. And then Eight of Wands, which is forward movement and communication. So <clears throat> this is the Emperor really knowing what they want, possibly being bored with what they have and wanting to move forward. Like maybe things aren't moving quick enough or they want things to move faster. The Four of Cups can sometimes just be like, I have all of this, but it's just, I got everything I wanted and it's just not enough. And again, I know this is odd, but I'm seeing these three cups here and I'm thinking of those three cups there and it's making me feel like they're playing a lot, okay? And they're bored with it. And they want they want something new. It's so terrible. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sagittarius. I'm sorry that I'm stumped by them. I'm sorry that I find this so awkward because you are... Um, I mean, the Queen of Wands over here. Do you know what I'm saying? See, it's you're the, or the King of Wands, whatever, <laughs> male or female. Okay, and um, it, I I don't know. Uh, I hope that this isn't like really heartbreaking. Me saying all of this. This is just what I see. But I feel really light about it, and so perhaps you also feel really light about it. I don't know. Uh, but with the Emperor. That's just really someone who knows that they got it, you know. They know that they, they're they going to get whatever they want. But this is feeling kind of bored or discontent and wanting to move forward and possibly communicate something, all right? 
I, but look with the three of cups, this is enjoying time with someone. This is like coming together with someone and having a good time. This reading looked so much better before, <laughs> before I clarified. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, please don't, <laughs> please don't hate me. Sagittarius, please don't hate me. Listen, you are awesome. You are awesome. And if this person's being sneaky, I don't really think that you know that you want them anyway. I mean, you feel this connection. You really do. But I don't know. Sometimes we feel connections with people and they're not like the person. You know, sometimes we're just meant to learn something from someone. And we we feel that. We somehow know that we're supposed to learn from them. But, um, yeah. Anyway, the Emperor's Aries energy, you might be dealing with an Aries. This is also fire energy, which is you, though. And that's really wanting to have a good time, okay? I, I'm i going to draw a most likely outcome. I've been talking a long time, and I don't think I'm helping the situation. So let's just, I, let's just find, let's see the most likely outcome. We get most likely outcome for Sagittarius and this person they're connecting with. <laughs> the Magician, okay, that's Gemini and Virgo energy. But that's, well, that's that, you're manifesting. You wanted to manifest that Queen of Wands, right? Interesting. <laughs> Mother of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, which is um, very stable and supportive energy. It's it can be earth energy, so that's Taurus, Virgo, and Capri Capricorn. But um, that's someone who's really stable. That's the Queen of Pentacles, which is, of course, like, <coughs> um, as of, with that with that Ten of Pentacles here, that's the Queen of that kingdom, you know? So it's manifesting this commitment, this, instead of right here, you'd possibly be manifesting your other half, possibly, or uh, just a very physical, maybe possibly um, passionate connection where this is really more of a stable connection. Okay, and this is someone who is committed and um, not that the Queen of Wands can't be committed, but it's very committed energy and very, you know, stable, I keep saying that, and supportive, all right? So yeah, that's what I have here. Let me draw an oracle message for you from the Notes from the Universe deck. Can we please get advice for Sagittarius in regards to this? I have felt really light through your entire reading, regardless of the fact that this just looks like a mess. And I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I hope that you feel really light about this because I don't know why I feel so light. But can I please get a message for Sagittarius in regards to this connection? Okay, <laughs> dwell on what you love. Asking someone to change is like pruning a tree. Neither will ever be the same again. Scarier still is that you can't quite know in what new directions they'll grow. I wouldn't change a leaf on you. <coughs> Interesting, dwell on what you love. Asking someone to change is like pruning a tree. Neither will ever be the same again. Oh, the tree or the person that you've asked to change. When you ask them to change, you don't know in what way they will change. And so... Well, that's interesting. So dwell on what you love. And then we also get, you'll find what you seek. 
If you've ever suddenly found and been loved by someone amazing, awesome, fun, and fantastic, chances are astronomical you will again. If you haven't yet found such a person, chances are astronomical you will. It's up to you. I think that this um, <laughs> really, really connects with how I feel about how you're feeling, actually. I feel like you want that someone and you're you feel a connection towards them and you're hoping they can be that someone, but maybe, maybe they're not. And that's okay because if you've ever been loved by someone amazing, awesome, fun, and fantastic, chances are astronomical you will again. And you totally will. If you need, I know that I really feel like you have this desire that of something that you really want and you really want to get there and you will, you will get there. Okay, it, it might, the answer might not be right here, right now, but it's out there, and you'll get there, and um, <laughs> I generally say at the end that I really uh, hope that you'll remain positive in your thoughts, okay, and remain hopeful, because the truth is that we, we get what we believe we deserve, and we get what we think, so with this dwell on what you love, like really dwell on what you love. Think about the things you love. Think about the things that bring you happiness and be grateful for them. And it's being in that energy will bring more of it to you. Okay. And so really focus on that with this manifesting. You're really trying to manifest here in your manifesting, like focus on the things that you love. Don't be thinking about all the things you don't love. Okay. Cause you'll draw those into you. So don't do it. Think about the things you love and focus on them and know that you deserve them. You are um, you are the king or queen of wands. I mean, that's your energy, all right? You're, you're gorgeous and, and magnetic. You are totally going to draw them in, all right? Focus on them and you will bring them in for sure. Anyway, sorry for my little rant there. I hope that this message resonated with you. <laughs> I think I said the zodiac signs that I see while I when I saw them. Um, so I don't think I need to do that. Stars Aquarius, I'm not sure if I said that. But um, like I said, I hope it resonated. If it did and you'd be willing to share that with me, I'd love to hear it. You could post it in the comments below or you could shoot me an email if you prefer a private conversation. My email address is listed in the description of this video. So... Thank you again so much for watching this video. Please don't hate me. Please. I really am just saying what I I'm just saying what I see. If it's not your message, it's not your message. Just walk on and leave it behind. But thank you again for viewing. And I hope that I will see you again in the future. Have a great day. Good luck out there.